In this video I would like to talk about the concept of, of aliases and this is a concept that comes from the SQL or the relational uh, database uh, world. Uh, if we look at our physical schema, a little part of our physical schema, then we see here an orders table, a customers table and an employees table and they have a circular reference. So what does this mean and how do we solve um, uh, possible problems that may appear as a consequence of this. Well, let's take a look at what it means. The orders table is related to the employees table in the following way. It means that the employee represents the employee that sells the order, the sales rep. Uh, the customers table is related to the orders table because the customer is the customer that places the order and the employee that manages the customer is depicted in the third relationship. Now the question that arises when you're looking at this may be that for a given order are these employees the same? Well the answer is that no, that's not necessarily true. So the, cust the employee that sells the order is not necessarily the employee that manages the customer that places the order. Now what this has a consequence when you write a query on this uh, schema. So let's look at the row counts. The orders table contains 105 rows. There are 319 customers and there are 107 employees. If we look at the join between orders and customers we can see that if we count uh, the orders that have a customer we see that every order has a related customer. We can see that every customer has a related account manager from the employees table. There are 319 rows in this, in this query. And if we check the relationship between orders and employees, we see that not necessarily every order has a related sales rep. So this already answers our question, uh, no, the not not for uh, it's not true for every order that the employee that is the sales rep is the same employee as the account manager for the order simply because of the fact that an order does not necessarily uh, have a related sales rep well let's take the test and see um, what happens if we enter all three joins that would be this query. So select count from these three tables and all the joints are entered over here. The result is a zero. There are no uh, resulting rows. Let's check if this is true. If we check the distinct sales rep IDs from orders, we see these values, including nil. So that's probably why some orders don't have a related sales rep. If we check the distinct account manager values we get this result and these values are not present in the orders table. So the result 0 is correct. This result 0 rows is probably not desired and it is caused by the fact that the employees table has a different role uh, compared to the orders table. Namely it, is, it represents the list of sales reps and then when you look at it from through this route so then it has the role of the list of account managers so because this table exists in two roles um, SQL offers us the possibility to create an alias for a table so let's have a look at uh, this query and see that it indeed returns zero rows as you see so we now want to resolve this uh, double row problem of the employees table so we're going to create an alias of it so we have to include it again in our query and with a different name an alias so 
We now have the order table, the customer table, the employees or the sales reps table and the employees or account managers table. Now, the customer has an account manager and we want to join it to the new alias. So let's copy and paste this alias in the query and run it again. And indeed, here we see that we get now get the result, which are the 70 orders that have a sales rep and the path from orders to customers through account managers uh, does not eliminate any rows as we checked before. So our result is 70 rows. Now, this allows us to make a selection for any order uh, of details from the sales reps as well as the account managers. So let's try this. Let's select orders, not order ID, customers, dot, cost, last, name, uh, employees, dot, employee first name last name so this is the sales rep and let's get account manager first name account manager last name so here we have it let's run and now what do we see? For this order, we have this customer name, this is the sales rep, and this is the account manager for this customer. So finally, in summary, what we've done is we've started out with this query in which we have a, a circular join and we uh, have the result zero uh, row result. We then introduced a new alias called account manager. We've moved the join from here to the new alias, which is represented in this way in the SQL. And now we have the correct result of 70 rows, 70 orders that have an employee, a sales rep, and an account manager through the customer. So that's the concept of uh, aliases in SQL.